Hi, I'm Andrew. And I'm Veronica. From Andronica English. And today, it's Easter! So, Andrew, what are we celebrating today? We're celebrating Easter! How, how do you celebrate Easter in the wonderful UK? Well, we, we? have these um, things called Easter eggs. Oh wow, I've never heard about them. Never. I'm not Easter surprised eggs. because we are the only country in the world that has them. Yeah, I think so. Easter eggs? Wow, mind blowing. I know. It's... I don't know why they're eggs. How? What are they exactly? Tell, tell me more about it. I want to know. Well, I want to know. <laughs> this will blow your mind. Okay, yeah, I'm listening. They're not real eggs. What? They're chocolate eggs. What? Chocolate? Chocolate. Why? Chocolate in the shape of... Because chocolate's delicious. How? Why, why, ch- why, why would anyone make chocolate taste eggs? It's, eggs it's a treat for the kids ch- at Christmas. Easter. Are they, I, and they're happy about it. Yeah. They, oh my. They have, you know, because chocolate. all the chickens are laying eggs. So well, the one guy decided to make a chocolate egg out of it. And Hungarian. market it as an Easter egg. Hungarians do it better. They make chocolate bunnies. <laughs> chocolate bunnies. Chocolate bunnies? Yeah. <gasps> really? Really, yeah. They are not actual bunnies. Really? Mmm, yummy. Mm. No, but chocolate bunnies. Not a real bunny. Ch- no. Like, well, like the lint bunnies. Yeah, kinda. Well, I will be honest. We do chocolate eggs too. You're what? Not, yeah, I know. I, well, I bet you stole it from us though, right? Yeah, that yeah. might be the only explanation. Yeah. But we do that. We we do everything from chocolate. Mm. I bet one yeah. guy from Hungary came to the UK and saw our chocolate eggs and thought, that's how I'm going to take that to yeah. Hungary. Yeah, that's how it works. But you know, chocolate originally is not from the, the not from the UK. So. Really? We didn't grow cocoa beans? <laughs> you don't? Really? <laughs> I didn't know about it. <laughs> we don't so, grow cocoa beans, so yeah. So what... Wow. What do you do with these eggs and these chocolate um, bunnies and figures? Well, the Easter bunny brings the chocolate eggs to the children. And then on Easter Sunday, they can open the eggs and get fat. <laughs> People do Easter egg hunts. So we'll hide little eggs around places or on the garden. The garden. And the little kiddies will run and find them. Well, I found three eggs. Well, I found five eggs. I win. And then the winner gets them all. <laughs> oh, no, all the kids. <laughs> okay. We chocolate, also have, um, got it on a Sunday, Easter Sunday, we have a nice um, Easter edition of the Sunday roast. Oh, right. Mm-hmm. What meat do you eat at Easter? We eat the best meat. Lamb. <gasps> it's delicious. I love it. I love a lamb at Easter. Delicious. I feel sorry for them. So... This year I decided not to eat them for Easter, so we decided to eat something even more special. Mm-hmm. What is it, Andrew? What is it? We ate salmon. Salmon. Oh, s- we ate salmon. And do you know why? Why? Because we wanted to practice how to pronounce this word. That's yes. why we decided to eat salmon. salmon. It's a silent L. Salmon. Salmon. Like lamb. It's not lamb. 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 Right. right, so, yeah. So, we had that for... Lunch. Dinner. 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 For dinner. A dinner. But there's something even more delicious on the way. Hot cross bunnies. Yeah. Hot, what? <laughs> hot cross hot bunnies. bunnies. I bet it comes from bunny. That's why you call bun. Hot cross bun. Hot cross bunny. <laughs> Maybe. Because you eat it at Easter. So yeah. bun, bunny, Easter, hot cross bunny. So, something even more delicious. Hot cross bunny. Hot cross buns. Don't be silly. Hot cross buns. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. So why, do, why, why, why? Why is it hot cross bun? Because we eat them hot and they have a cross on them. Okay, yeah. And they have currants inside. So this is the hot, hot cross, cross bun. buns. Do you like hot cross buns? Yeah, I love it. Because it's sweet. Sweet and um, full of raisins. Mm. 
you know, there's something I really, really like, and it's British. What? Victoria sponge. Do you think we could eat some for Easter? <gasps> we could. Lots of people eat Victoria sponge at Easter. Yeah. So, Victoria sponge, it was Queen Victoria's favourite cake. Oh, yeah. I want to try. You should. Let's eat some now. Yeah, let's. This is what it looks like. All chopped up and finally eaten. What is it made of? Sponge cake. Uh, two, two layers of sponge cake, yeah. some, some jam, and some cream. All right. Then plop together. Your Victoria sponge. The Royal Highness Queen Victoria sponge. Mmm. Yummy. It's very easy. It's very piece of cake. It is. It's an easy cake to bake. What do you Hungarians eat at Christmas? Oh, right. Yeah, I almost forgot. We eat, um, tasty bread, you know, this sweet bread, which is very similar to brioche bread, but wow. it's still not the same, I've tasted it, but, you know. Um, and we usually put some bread on the top and ham. So we cook ham, yeah. you know, this very salty, very fat oh, ham. Yeah, and like a we fat ham. Yeah, we, we usually eat it with uh, some wedges, mm. for example, tomatoes, and uh, because it's very, very springtime. And, yeah, we start eating it on Sunday and we never stop till end of Monday. I was just eating it all day long. And all night? You don't sleep? No. Just eating <laughs> sweet yeah. bread? <laughs> sweet bread. Yeah, and brioche bread with, um, ham. with ham. And fruit. Oh, right! And I almost forgot. Eggs. Hard-boiled eggs? Yeah, hard-boiled eggs. <laughs> yeah, that one. That one, yeah. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and... That's it, basically. Wow. We Delicious. Eat. Yeah, it's very... Hard gold eggs with horseradish. Yes. Wow. That sounds delicious. I don't like it. Let's get some horseradish. I want some. Well, I want, I want to try this Hungarian delicacy. You will. You have already. Look at the photos. <laughs> no, horseradish, though. Oh. Just the bo boiled egg. Oh. I want the horseradish. <laughs> Just get some. Okay. Some horseradish. <laughs> mm. So so yeah, and uh, kids get a lot of uh, chocolate, of course. You know, bunny. The bunny you can, you can you can eat their uh, ears and head. You can just yummy. Mm. Um, but you know, it's um, that's it. Nothing special. It's very special. Very interesting hmm? that you eat these brioche breads with ham and you have little horseradish eggs. Yeah. Sounds tasty. Yeah. I want a Hungarian Easter. Yeah, and we also bake a lot of cakes. So uh, some people Victoria bake... Victoria's Bunch You know, some people... <laughs> no, not that one. But some people make um, this, you know, as you can in the photo, um, when you just, you know... Um, <laughs> do that <laughs> I don't know <laughs> whatever so you can make it even sweeter if you put some uh, chocolate in it chocolate bread S yeah it would be chocolate like pan chocolate no um, similar but no oh no. and uh, that could be dessert exciting so I think it sounds tasty yeah yeah it's very tasty so there's 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 a very interesting tradition that would be very interesting for you or other people who are not Hungarians. Um, that men sprinkle <laughs> women with now usually with perfume, but in the past it was, you know, like a glass of water or yeah. a bucket of water. Well, yes. a, a bucket, bucket of water. water. You just throw it over them, right? Yeah. Um, we should do that. To keep them fresh. So men sprinkle women uh, with perfume Ooh. or some water on their head yeah. or hair. Um, and it's, it's, it's a very, uh, how to say that, unpopular tradition. So nobody, nobody likes it. No woman likes it. Do you like it? I don't like it. I hated it. I always hated it. But when I was a kid, it was like a must. Mm -hmm. I had to 
be sprinkled by all the boys. I had to wait for boys sprinkle, sprinkle. me. And in exchange, I had to give um, red <laughs> egg, red painted egg or some drink. So, yeah, so nobody likes it, but somehow, yeah, boys had to do it. They were forced to do it because it's a tradition. Mm. But I don't think that they enjoyed it yeah. at all. They so enjoy sprinkling. Girls. Now it's um, good news that they can't do that, so they don't have to do uh, that. Because of the, um, yeah, unless they have an extra long sprinkle gun. They could get like a, a water pistol and sprinkle from afar. Yeah, they could, yeah, indeed. Or a hose so, pipe. They could all line up and sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle, little star. And they also say a poem. They tell the girl yeah. a poem. And these poems are usually very funny or, or, or creepy or I don't know. <laughs> so just, How do they I don't go? Know. It's, it's the only, only Easter tradition I don't like because... It's weird. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, boys get this very stinky perfumes. Oh. You know, these like um the men type, the oh. the, the man version. The, the very, very bad ones. They just and you, you smell like disgusting perfume. All day long. Yeah, and then you just run to the shower and you you want to wash your hair, whatever, so so yeah, um, it's so Hungarian. Yeah. Sprinkle, sprinkle, I'll sprinkle you later. star. <laughs> no thanks. Oh. So, let's eat. Let's eat. Time let's... for Easter lunches. Yay, on the way. I'm very hungry, Andrew. After talking about lots of chocolate and lots of food, so let's just eat some Victory Sponge. Let's. Happy Easter, everyone. Yeah, I hope you enjoy the holidays and you're excited about our videos, which are on, on the way. way. <laughs> so make sure you like and subscribe to be notified for when we upload further videos. See you next time. Bye. Bye.